do you know we're supposed to start planning for 2030 some people are already planning for 2030 so the question is if we say we should start planning towards 2030 what exactly is that planning i mean i get it um in 2030 my business will... what about is your finances as well it's part of it's a major integral about your plan for 2030 because before you and i close our eyes and open it 2030 is here i mean who remembers when we did 2010 and then 2020. I mean, I mean, like, isn't it that 2010? I'm like, ah, but well, last year 2010, no? And then before we open, uh, 20, uh, 20, 2020. I swear, I finished my H&E in 2010. And when I look at it, I say, I served in 2020, 11. 2010 is 2011. And then I look at him like, wait, I've been out of school for a decade and almost going to an half now. What have I... So, after school, life. Till now what have i achieved with my life what have i done so what i'm saying with this analysis is that before we open our eyes and close it 2030 is here so my question to you is that how much are you going to be worth in 2030 Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Tea Talk with Goodness Usman, your number one real estate talk show in Africa. And thanks to each and every one of you who keep coming back every week when we upload to watch, to learn and unlearn, and of course, be part of this great community. Honestly, you guys are the real mvp and we all at niger realty 24 7 we love and appreciate you all so before we go right into today's episode i just want to use a minute to say thank you and welcome to everyone who just subscribe oh my god yes the family is growing it's exciting so thank you welcome to the family now sit back relax and enjoy the show this is a community where we talk about everything about real estate, most especially the real estate market in Nigeria. And of course, we are here to learn from you. And also, you have a lot of things to learn here and also be ready to unlearn as well. So keep an open mind all through all through the show. Now, if you're watching and you're yet to subscribe, how about you hit the subscribe button right away? And I promise you, you yes you will not regret doing so now most importantly you need to turn on your notification button so that you can be part of the world the first set of people who get to watch it when we upload new episodes by the way we upload new episodes every week sunday precisely 4 p.m so Let's get right into today's episode. By the way, we're still in our season five, and this is episode three. For us on Tea Talk, we goodness Usman. We always have a ritual that we go into before we discuss the topic or the agenda of the day. And the ritual is you watching me you have to first of all be in a very relaxed mood or atmosphere grab yourself a cup of tea coffee glass of water glass of wine whichever one suits you or whichever one you are comfortable with and then relax and enjoy the show from the beginning to the end so i'll just go right away and kick it start all right are you guys ready let's do this Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's always, always exciting taking my cup of green tea. Like a lot of you already know. And I know some of you will wonder, when is she going to stop doing the double sip, right? I mean, my technical people are like, what in God's name is with this twice a sip? Anyways, that's just me. Are you guys love me that way? Aha, uh -huh. let's go into today's topic all right let's get right into today's topic i mean today's conversation honestly this particular episode is a special one and i want you 
to really pay attention this is not one of the episodes that you're going to miss at all i mean you you should watch this episode from the beginning to the end in fact i know that when you're done you are going to have a lot of replays which is going to make sense to you very shortly so i'll give you i'll start with the today's conversation with a story ladies and gentlemen about six years ago when i started marketing ibejeleki houses i remember vividly how we were told of the great infrastructures that was coming into Ibejuleki. In fact, we were told that Ibejuleki is going to be the third largest commercial hub in Africa. And then we kept on seeing the prospects, I mean, based on these infrastructures that are coming into this location called Ibejuleki. And then we started going all out, trying to bring in people, you know, we started preaching the gospel of real estate investment to that particular houses. Why were we doing that? We're doing that because you know, we were doing that because this was based on these infrastructures that we had been told. So it was like a vivid dream that was shared. And because we could imagine how that is going to massively affect not just us as Nigerians, but the entire African and if I can say the world as well. I mean, even though if it's a tiny bit part, it's going to definitely make a great impact on the entire world. Now, this imagination has helped a lot of us, you know, talk about these investment opportunities that are surrounded around the Bejuleki. Now, when we were start, we started talking about this, a lot of people never, ever, 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 ever believed in any of these infrastructures remember that we have imagined it were, they were just mere imaginations mere propose pro, pro, propose um proposals right they were mere proposed okay nobody can picture many could not picture it many felt i mean i remember how you would take some people down to Ibejuleki, tell them where has been a mark for certain in this infrastructure. That infrastructure is going to be here. This other one is going to be at the other side. Da 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 da. da. And then when all of them come to um, come to existence and operational, this is what is going to happen. We had a lot of market focus, and then some people will tell you, no, no, no. I mean, this is not going to ever happen. If and if it was going to ever happen. It was going to happen in maybe two decades time in three days some people will say oh who, 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 who come here and do anything who come here i mean there were all sorts of things that were said to me okay now fast track ladies and gentlemen to the year 2023 which is the current year we are in right now history was made on 22nd of may 2023 now, the history had started way before now, actually, but this one is actually a major one. And what am I talking about? Some of you have seen this, some of you have read about it, some of you have watched the live ceremony. It is nothing other than the successful ceremony commissioning, the successful commissioning of the Dangote Refinery. Ladies and gentlemen, this particular event is an historical iconic one personally i cherish and admire this day may 22nd and why now based on the story i started earlier how um six years ago i moved into the ibejuleki houses the ibejuleki corridor and i've been there back to back for the last six years now watching something that was told something that was a dream something that was only imagination coming into reality day in day out in the last six years oh i'm so <laughs> blessed to be part of this history this is my story and i wanted to start today's episode sharing this story with you guys i am honored i am blessed to be part of this history because if i go back i mean i had to go down memory lane and then remember so many people saying so sort how people never believe how so i mean the all sorts 
and the journey so far where we started from and how we got here now i am not part of the dangote group of course but i'm also a key player in this environment right so i haven't seen the entire journey from where we are where we started from from where we are coming from to where we are now and i can see a better better picture of where we're going to now this is what we're going to be talking about today this is what i want to come and discuss with you all today not so much of maybe you're not so much part of where we're coming from but you're part of where we are but the most important one i want you to be part of is where we are going to ladies and gentlemen now I will say this quickly. Ibajulaki already is the third largest commercial of. If you did not catch the live broadcast of the event, let's go quickly. Watch a clip of how it all went down. By the way, that event was hours, day, all day, right? So I wouldn't be able to show you guys too many of the clips. But hey, let's check out the speech of his excellency the governor of lagos state ladies and gentlemen watch that your excellencies president of ghana togo senegal niger and chad your excellency mr vice president elect who is representing my leader the president elect your Excellencies, Senate President, and other leaders that are here, my brother governors, the man of the moment, my good Egbo, a Lagosian, a Nigerian of no mean feet, Alaji Aliko Dangote, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. But today is not only about you, it's about three short stories that I'll just quickly talk on. The first story is about a young Nigerian, 45 years ago, and you see the coincidence in the story. 45 years ago, who came to Lagos all the way from another mega city in our country, Kano? Who saw the prosperity, the diversity of our country? Who came with nothing, but in 45 years has built the biggest empire in the world for Africa? A man that we have handed over the key of Lagos to as a real indigent because with all of the resources and belief that he has in our state, we cannot but truly say that you are one of us and you are indeed a detribalized Nigerian, a Nigerian that we are truly proud of. Mr. President, the second story is about another young Nigerian in 1978 because he came to Lagos in 1978. This young Nigerian, too, in 1978, as a military brigadier general, was saddled with the responsibility as the commissioner for petroleum resources. He completed and handed over the Wari refinery. Today, he sits as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, handing over the biggest single line refinery in the history that we know of mankind today. It's no sheer coincidence that these histories are coming together. The third story is also about a man that I said will be taken over from you by the grace of God in seven days' time, who also with sheer coincidence in 2006 as the 12th governor of Lagos envisioned that this whole area should be named and set aside as a free zone. And 17 years after, we have seen what the lucky free trade zone has turned into. I, not part of the three stories, but I was opportune to be part of his team at that time. Welcome back. That was a beautiful speech. You know, one of the things I love about that particular speech is how he connected. I mean, how he went into history and then, you know, connect how these three major great men had made history and then, I mean, are great visionaries, and then they are part of great histories. Let's go also see our own President Buhari speech. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here this morning. 
of this afternoon to commission this Greenfield Dangote Oil Refinery and Petrochemical Complex. I recall that just about a year ago, I was here to commission your fertilizer plant and had the opportunity to briefly inspect this refinery complex then under construction. On that occasion, the group chairman, Al Haji Ali Kodongote, hinted, hinted to me that the refinery will also be ready for commissioning before the end of my tenure in office and will extend the invitation for me to return to Lekki for this purpose. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Now, if I say we should go on and on and watch it, I mean, trust me, you can get it on channels, TV, and so many other um, um, television um, stations on this particular app right here on YouTube. So let's just go right into the conversation of today. Like I said earlier, I couldn't be more up here to be part of this great history. I mean, did you guys see how many dignitaries, presidents of... Now, the one that caught my attention was the presidents of other African countries. Like, the president of Ghana was there. I mean, do you guys see how many presidents attended? Now, are you asking yourself the question, why did they attend? <laughs> why, would no, why would they not attend? Why would they not attend such an historical event? Now, let's look down, let's look inward. In Nigeria, do you see how many governors, senators, now leave the politicians, business tycoons, business moguls that we have in, at a, in within Nigeria and across some major oceans. Meaning that it's not just about our continent Africa, even beyond our continent, people attended, these great people attended the event. And of course, it was an amazing, amazing event. Of course, they are kicking off the operation immediately this in June, right? So, having to have the Dangote refinery on operation, the fertilizer had already commenced operation way before, last year. And we have the Lekki Deep Sea port already in operation and so many other manufacturing companies Dangote had spent over 18 million dollars 18 billion dollars and the question i always ask is if one man decided to spend that amount of money put such a massive investment in that location why aren't you why aren't you and i sitting down close to this investment why aren't we putting a particular fraction a percentage why aren't we putting a percentage of the income we make into this location to join the numerous billionaires the numerous millionaires situated in this massive commercial up and then put our money to not just all to not just only work for us, to not just only help us gain more financial stability, but to help us also, you know, grow our network. But most importantly, live wealth for generations unborn. So again, I ask you watching me, what is your excuse for not owning a piece of Ibejuleki? right now in the year 2023 i mean remember i said my journey in Ibeju, like it started six years ago and that's all about the time they started the entire construction of what of the dangote refinery i mean it was built within six years the entire thing you were seeing was built within six years i always say this we have major infrastructures that is coming that is already actually in Ibejuleki and more is coming. Uh, there are other smaller, smaller ones that you and I don't even know that they exist there. And they are not even owned by Nigerians. They are not even owned by Africans. They are owned by Americans, the Chinese, etc., etc. So if it takes a Chinese from wherever he is to see the potential within Ibejuleki, why is he not taking you? Why is it taking you forever? Like ever, ever, ever. To see the potential sitting. Okay, well, 
it's like a case of Jesus Christ now. He wasn't, I mean, a prophet is, it's, a, it's like a case of a prophet is not being honored. Oh, no, now, see, when it comes to real estate investment, I don't think that should apply. I don't think that should apply. So, if you're watching me, what I want to achieve on this show today is to bring you to see why you should invest in Ibadu like you right now. Now, I know a lot of, I know some people who are on this channel who have invested like they started like like four or five years ago. See, let's do this please 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 ah, i need to bring shakira this is a, this is this is the kind of day that uh, I, I was supposed to bring shakira a bit tambourine i'll just be you know you know hey i'll just be you know hitting the tambourine for you people you see you that you have invested in it you like see the way i need for you ah! <laughs> because trust me you have not even started singing the rime very, very, oh my god see let me not do it but you get it you get the vibe right so i'm saying in essence is congratulations to everyone who when this all infrastructure communication when this all infrastructure talks how um is the proposed largest um third largest commercial orb in africa started you 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 saw it and then you key into it congratulations to you now Two things I'm going to say. For those who are yet to own a piece of Ibejuleki, now is the time to start owning a larger chunk of Ibejuleki. Because going forward, already we know that land is even scarce in Ibejuleki, right? But the ones that are available now, already the prices are rising. And now it will further rise, which is what I said at the beginning of this year. That if you're looking at Ibejuleki prices coming down anytime soon, you know, it's like when you want to fetch a, a, a water from a tap and then you are using basket. Say, say, yo, kumbai, it's not gonna come. It's not, you are not gonna fetch. You cannot even get this. You see, this, this tea in my cup, if you go want to get a tap, a water from the tap to fill this, you will get water to fill this cup. But when you use a basket, sorry, you are going to wait till. Amagadon. Maybe another Amagado comes or something. I don't know. Or the second coming of Jesus. Well, I don't know. Maybe not that. But you get what I'm saying. So I said it. When people come and say, hey, actually, I'm interested in the Bajulaki Akba corridor. But the thing is, I'm waiting for promos. I'm waiting for prices to come down. <laughs> really? Really, 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 oh god. I mean, this is not a peak market, it's not a market that has gotten to peak. Like Ikoi, that you are going to say, even Ikoi is not really, really coming down, it's just a okawa saturated. You get it, it's just, I mean, so if anyone is looking at the Bejuleki, price is coming down. <laughs> You definitely do not understand our market because the governor of Lagos State, the government in general, also. I mean, I remember when we started talking about the road construction from Eleko Junction, the road rehabilitation that started uh, in 2021, inward, Ekpe, and then now they are doing the. I mean, let's see this road. I mean, let's flaunt the road now. Ah, check, check this out. I mean, see, see, see this smooth drive. Oh my God! If you're not in Leg if you're not in Nigeria, or you're not in Lagos, or you're in Lagos and you have not dri driven from Elekko to Ekpe, huh? Ah, you need to take a tour. I mean, just do a drive. It's a smooth drive all the way. Now, I remember then I was saying that why would they do that if uh, if they didn't see that war is coming? War is here already. The last time I was in Ibadan, like I already have an that feel of a papa and it's no jokes. When you visit Ibejuleki right now, in what the Dangote refinery, you already know that whatever is happening in Apapa is already happening there. And then when they start lifting at the deep sea port, when containers have come in, you, you just can't picture it. Now, I know that some people will come and now say, eh, eh. it'll be too clinical, eh, it'll be too traffic, it'll be. 
this video is not for people like that if you have a mindset of always looking you know some people no matter how good something is they will never ever see the good side of things some people are just naturally like that and he explains why they are who they are i mean you can see their life and but i'm talking to someone who is very intentional about growing their net worth someone who is a serial investor somebody who's who's out there looking for opportunities who is very serious about their finances i mean someone who wants to double triple their income i mean you 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 want to seriously earn from passive income the truth is as we grow old our energy reduces i mean i'm not let me not even use my example as old because i'm not even old but despite the fact that i'm just a step to 40 the things i could do in my 20s honestly I can't do them anymore. I am beginning to see it. So now imagine people that are in their 50s. So meaning that once you have the energy right now to make a certain amount of money as income, it is only smart and wise that you take a, pas a passive, that you take a portion of it, a percentage of it, and put it into real estate, safe and secured real estate investment. Put it in not just investing in real estate, a strategic place that you know that is fast growing, that you know that you'll be earning passive income. Give it half a decade, a decade to come. I mean, when we when we talk about these things, you know how people were saying but you like we never dango the refinery, it will not happen in two decades. I mean, it, it took over half a decade for it to happen, but we are here. I mean, I I, I literally cannot believe we're here because if, when I look back, I'm like, really? I mean, guys were in 2023. God keeping us alive, granting us good health. Do you know that by the time we close our eyes and open, we're already in 2030. Do you know we're supposed to start planning for 2030? Some people are already planning for 2030. So the question is, if we say we should start planning towards 2030, what exactly is that planning? I mean, I get it um, in 2030, my business. Should... What about, is your finances as well? It's part of, it's a major integral about your plan for 2030. Because before you and I close our eyes and open it, 2030 is here. I mean, who remembers when we did 2010? And then 2020. I mean, I mean, like, isn't it that 2010? I'm like, ah, but actually 2010, no? And then before we open, uh, 20, uh, 20, 2020. I swear, I finished my H&E in 2010. And when I look at it, I say, I served in 2020, 11. 2010 is 2011. And then I look at him like, wait, I've been out of school for a decade and almost going to an half now. What have I... So... After school, life till now. What have I achieved with my life? What have I done? So what I'm saying with this analysis is that before we open our eyes and close it, 2030 is here. So my question to you is that how much are you going to be worth in 2030? Have you wondered? How much is your net worth right now? So how much is going to be your net worth in 2030? You have if so let's talk to the married people. You're married, Abby. You have kids. How old are your kids right now? How old will they be in 2030? Now, if you buy property, a plot of land in Ibeju, like in their name, maybe you buy Femon Green now for 25 million 750, a plot of land. And you do not put your name there, you put the name of your son or your daughter. That is probably I mean how old today, maybe 10 years, even if it's five years, even if it's one year old. In 2030, how much is that? plot of land that you bought now for 20 million 25 million 750 how much will it be worth question or maria radubo no seriously let's look at the numbers into this episode it's about the numbers because i think people are not looking at the numbers and that's why they're not investing as much as they can like i said so people are already past all this conversation though they have hey, hey. so people have carried you know cousins here this cous ah, this cousins here is not even as good as the one that some people have carried so people have used cousins here the real hey, fluffy <laughs> comfortable cousins here they have sat in the in the bedulaki corridor and they are just crossing their leg and sipping a glass of wine hey! 
Well, you are the ah, some people are chai, some people are very smart. You know, this kind of people, that's how they are made with the accident 2030, 2040. Ha, how did he make his money? How did she make his money? Ah, he was be a we Oh, he was be a drug dealer. Ah, he stays in Canada. Ah, all those people in Canada, they are they are they are working, working. What's what's working, working again? He cleans all their front stars. Ah, oh, he stayed in UK. Oh, he's like, oh, he must be a thief. He must be into drugs. It's a lie. They they strategically invested when you did not. Ne, ne for those uh, he was say kiniko, he was say da 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 da. But I mean, you guys get what I'm talking about. Question is, how are you strategically positioning yourself and your loved ones in the third largest commercial hub? Now, I always say this on this channel: the real estate investment is a journey. Don't come and say, hey, I have one plot in Beachfront. Hey, I have one plot in, um, where are those estates we sold? Pick, um, profession estates. Hey, I bought one plot. That was Shoroko. Should be a half five rescue meter there. Well, it's okay, Dari. I'll be about two plots. Well, it's well, okay. Hey, Lagoon from, I bought one plot. It's okay, goodness. I get it. Well, it's okay. Yeah. But I'm talking to people. Who are very passionate about growing their network. That's the people I'm talking to this today. I mean, how passionate are you about growing your network? Because you know that network is not something you build overnight. So we come and say that Dangote is the richest black man in Africa, or Elliot Marks is big etc. etc. Do you think that Dangote, our very own icon, who built, who spent over $18 billion in this same location we are talking about? Did he get the $18 billion yesterday? He didn't. Eh? He did not. <laughs> Do you know how many decades this businessman has been at it? Do you get? So what am I saying? I'm saying that you cannot build your network in a day building your network is not about just buying a plot of land in the bedroom like it. i mean there are other things you can do but real estate is the major integral when it comes to network i mean go and check all these top billionaires um, the richest man in the world the, the tenth the first 10 richest man in the world richest people in the world you will see that they own a larger portion of real estate as to them attaining that level of net worth. So when you and I want to, you know, grow our net worth, we're passionate about growing our net worth, it is only smart or only a wise decision to keep owning real estate in strategic locations. And you can't right now be in Lagos and don't look inward into the third largest commercial hub in Africa. There are thousand ways to make money in a budget like it right now. I mean, owning a plot of land or plot of lands is just the beginning. I hope you guys know. Now, let's, let's, let me continue using Fremont Green as an example. I mean, there are other properties selling right now that is good for you. You know, I talked about the... I talked about the infrastructures in Ibejuleki. And then we had another one coming into the, into the picture, which is the airport. Speaking about... How you can keep making money. I mean, the ways we can keep making money. Buying the land is the first, is the first, first part. If you buy a plot of land in the commercial part, even the residential part in, in Fairmont Green right now. I mean, the commercial plot is, is 60 million per plot of 1,000 square meter. There are so many things you can do there. There are so many kind of businesses you can run in Ibejuleki. So aside you even buying a plot of land again or a property, Buying a building, a house. I mean, we sell apartments in, in professional estates. They have, they have two-bedroom apartments, three-bedroom apartments. They have terraces and all of that. That's five years payment plan. Do you know that people that had bought into that property before now, three years ago, two years ago, do you know that they are smart? That's, it. That's an off-plan project too. And it's still going on. Yes, construction is still going on. And they still have the five years payment plan. So if you join in now and be part of the five years payment plan, you buy an apartment very close. In fact, this professional estate is very close to the Dangote refinery. I know a lot of a lot of my clients here who bought land. So on their land that they have even bought, they can build block of flats. They can build block of offices and rent it out. Now speaking about Fairmont Green, 
Do you know how much you can make just because you own chain of businesses there? Not even end-to-end -end business. I mean, not direct um, retail business. You can be an wholesaler, kind of. So you're building a complex, for instance. You have built a complex. If you and I, if everyone in Fairmont Green builds hotels, builds hospitals, build uh, complexes, office spaces, it will not still be enough to service what is already existing in that location. I said, I always say it, that the numbers of estates or properties we have in that location is not enough to service. And that is why even in word Ekpe, hmm. let me tell you one thing also you guys don't know. Do you also know that Ekpe is that, inside Ekpe is where, I see that part as a pure residential area. You know, the whole commercial orb is going to be around the Dangote refinery, where we have the Fairmont Green, where we have the Alara City, all those places, Lagoon Floor, all those places are going to be commercial up. They are the commercial up. But you see, inside Ekpe Town itself, all those Igbola, all those uh, uh, Raye, all those places, all those Omo, all those Igbo, all those places are places where people will, I mean, it will be that cool, dead, calm residential area. Not that they won't be commercial, they will be commercial there as well. So, whether you're buying in Ibejuleki, as you're buying in Ibejuleki, you should buy in Ekpe as well. More, I see more and more estates who are going to be springing up in Ekpe. I said it before. More government allocated lands are coming into Ekpe proper. Ekpe town itself. In fact, we're beginning to sell into Ogun State. All the Ijebu, you know, from that, uh, from that toll gate, that between Ekpe, the boundary between Ekpe and Ogun State, that's after the toll gate downward those roads you will begin to see estates springing up very soon as government allocation because government also i've I had it from a real government also is moving into that houses you think government don't want to also <laughs> so what i'm saying is buying plots of land owning plot of lands in Ibeji, like here where ours is is just the beginning of how much more you can do or what you can do or what you can earn from that location I mean, we have Synergy Garden, right? Synergy Garden is just a walkable distance. I mean, less than five minutes, seven minutes drive from the electoral junction. People want to live close to where they do business. Synergy Garden is selling apartments. One bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments. They're sending mensonates. One bedroom, two bedroom. They're sending penthouses, terraces. And with 13 months payment plan, buy into these things. You have bought into, do you know how many people two, three years ago, people bought into Moonstone? Moonstone is exactly is at the end of the Dangote refinery. I remember Gracias Commercials that we sold four years ago at 8 million era, a sea of old land. It's just by the Dangote refinery. See Gracias Commercials, see Dangote refinery. If I was Gracias, I'll be wondering why did I send my estate that year? <laughs> if I was, I'll be like, I don't know, Taloni in Tano. Now, this is good for people who are, I know some of the investors there, my client that is there cannot even, I mean, it's just chilling. Do you know what that plot of land is worth right now? Now, the what is not even what I'm interested in, is what he can do on that plot of land. <laughs> now, Gracias Moonstone, a lot of people bought into those apartments, those one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments. Now, if you're watching me and you bought into Gracias Moonstone, what are you doing? Ask, look for agents that will help you rent out that place. You, you need to start making money from that place right now. For those who do not know about it, well, okay, I get it. But what I'm saying is, it's a win-win for you who is a serial investor or who wants to become a serial investor to position yourself now. If you have not positioned yourself well, it's, now is the time to strategically position yourself and that positioning means it's not just one off it's a journey okay you're buying this at some point you're buying another and you're buying and you're buying because at some point you will not have lands for sale in those places i mean it wasn't far-fetched now four or five years ago meridian and um, bolivar they were selling it uh, three years ago we sold meridian bolivar for 14.5 or thereabout and now it's 65 millionaire a plot those who bought them and they don't they, they've not done anything on it i have clients who in maria bolivar have not done anything on their land we are even begging them to come and do something on their land 
If they decide not to do anything on it and resell it, it's a, it's a massive win. Because that money, they would have spent it on something else and would not even remember what it is. Or, of course, did not bring back value to them. So, whether you and I like it or not, real estate remains one of the safest means of growing your network. Safest means to wealth. And solid, actually. It's not just safe, but it is solid. Solid all over the continent. I mean, name one thing that we do in the entire universe that has no affiliation to real estate. Name it. Where I'm sitting now is real estate. It's always I own the house. It's not my house. It's my landlord's house. You get? Maybe you're watching me from your office. It's somebody that owns that office space. Maybe you're currently on a vacation right now in a resort, beautiful resort, you know. It's somebody that owns it. Maybe tomorrow you're going to, the church you're going to go, you're going to, you sh, the church you're you are going to go or that you have gone today. I mean, why are you watching? I don't know if you're watching on a Sunday. But the church you go. It's real estate. The, the complexes you visit to do your grocery shopping is real estate. So name one thing. Even the mugs is still real estate. Sorry. But it is. Cemeteries. So, all works of life is real estate. So, why would we have real estate screaming at us at every works of our life? And then you don't want to own a larger chunk of it. I, and when I get like this, it'll be like, it's not that deep, but it is actually. But for those who are very intentional about growing their network, who are interested in growing their network, basically. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're not interested in going your networks, you're not interested about your finances, you just want to get by by each day, just back or not, back or not, it's okay. You just want to make the money, spend the money, make it spend. It's fine. But hey, you that you're very keen about your finances, as much as you can, you should concentrate on owning many real estate as you can. And like I said, it's a journey, okay? So, bringing this whole conversation into close, first of all, I want to ask you guys to put it in the comment section. What do you think about the old Dangote refinery, the old Ibeji, like you mean the third largest commercial hub? What do you think? Maybe you have another angle to it that I don't have. Please put it there respectfully. Let's share opinion. What do you see, Ibeji, like in half a decade's time, in one decade's time, in two decades' time? What do you think about it, Bajulaki? Like, I'm sharing what I think with you guys. I need you to share what you think. Now, when you're sharing what you think, you also need to take into cognizance that I'm sitting here actually. I visit the Bajulaki like, every week, if not three times or four times in a week. And trust me, what I've seen in the last six years, like I said earlier, has been amazing. It's been an amazing and interesting journey. And I really, it's exciting because I can't wait to see the next half a decade for us to eat another milestone of a decade you know like that like that the journey keep going and then we keep making this beautiful history and that's why i said i'm excited about this that i'm part of this beautiful journey and i'm looking forward to the future and i'm strategically also positioning myself to make sure that my kids don't ask me they don't bring up they don't dig out this video and say mama what happened or my grandson say, ah, grandma, but grandma, you don't know. I mean, really? It, w it wouldn't be nice. You know, ignorance is not an excuse, right? But when you also know something and you don't do anything about it, it's even worse off than somebody that is ignorant. Do you get it? So I don't want to put myself in a position. So you should also put yourself in that position. Like I said, a lot of people have invested in the Bejileki, Ekpai Corridor, many more are still investing now for those who have invested you can still invest more if you have the resources it's a lifetime journey as many resources as, as you're having the resources you should be invested oh you have invested in this oh which one can i invest more the safe and secured ones okay the safe and secured ones like i said there are so many business opportunities there are numerous opportunities for them i remember i i always say this as well that you know, when it comes to investing in a, in a fast-paced environment like Ibejoleki, you will be looking at it from where you're standing right now. And I want to, uh, you know, encourage you not to look at it from where you're standing. 
Because, okay, so now, I, 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 you're, you're probably working somewhere, you work nine to five or something, and you're probably not thinking of any other business, or you're probably thinking of a certain kind of business. Maybe you, you want to go into hospitality, and you feel, oh, I'll buy the commercial plots in, um, in Fairmont Green, I'll be in an hospital, maybe two plots, I'll be in an ex hospital, I'll have a very good hospital there or oh I'll, I'll i'll build an hotel or oh i'm going to yes just have an hotel or an apartment that is um, for airbnb and all of that and then in half a decade to come what you just talked about what you dreamed about is no longer relevant or is still relevant but there are better other things that is going to fetch you more money than that so, what am I saying? Don't close your mind as to what you can do. There are so many business ideas that will spring up from the level of growth and the level of development in that vicinity. So, stop investing with the mind of, uh, this is what I can, I want to do. It, it won't work in that area. No! And because of that, you're not investing. Hey, don't do that do not do that i mean we are constantly innovating we're constantly changing i mean we have ai hey, hey guys the, the the days are gone are the days where you have to sit down and rack your head where you want to write a letter you want to do. there are so many ais right now that you just impute what you want to do and once get it ah hey it's like which is that wizard What's it be about? You know how in the Yoruba in the Yoruba industry, there's this um this um Ifa tradition where they say uh, they have this their um what's it called? Now I don't want to use the Yoruba word. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm not being don't throw along. They say I want to tefa. <laughs> you know, Okpale we just Okpale we just bring it out. <laughs> he say I not see not see uh, Ifa. He's not the our ancestors. Okay, that's on a light note, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so you get the drift, you get the conversation, you get what I'm talking about. And seriously, I'm just here to say, hey, wake up. Kalaya money, kalaya money. Hey, bera. <laughs> you have to bera now. You get it. You know, how Christiane sang that song, say, bera. Go get the mula. Hey, money, kokala. In this regard, this Kalagbo Wonye Lowo Ibeju Loki Epe. I mean, you have worked and worked and I mean, that song by Chris Daniel is just amazing. You don't work, you don't. I mean, you should work and get paid. You have worked and you have gotten paid. Use part of that pay to 10x your finances. And you can start from anywhere you are. That's the beautiful thing. I mean, if you only, only can afford two million, that's perfect. Let's go to a pair. If you can afford 25 million, buy Fairmont Green. I mean, professional estate is still selling. Synergy Garden, there are so many credible investments there that when you call me, I can, you know, guide you through and make sure you invest rightly. In fact, all the all these houses are so fast selling as well. It's not just something that is some people now and I'll see what so this is what's gonna happen. You now come and say, Oh goodness, give me a plot of land in front of Dangote Refinery, gong gong gong, or beside it. Like when I leave Dangote Refinery, just step into my, my land, boom. <laughs> or the back of it. Don't deceive yourself. You can't find such. At this 2023. Nothing as such is going to be available. So please don't go be like that. Okay. And I always say this as well. You know, with Dini Budget Lucky, yes, you can strategically get some. I mean, like I mentioned, Grasses Commercial, who was beside um, what's it called now? Is beside the Dangote Refinery, the end of the Dangote Refinery, and of course, just before the Dangote entrance into the Dangote fertilizer. No, those are those are properties we sold five, four, five years ago. You know, so if you're going to buy such a property, maybe you're buying from somebody who wants to resell. And then my clients then bought at 8.4, there about. Yeah, 8.4, I can remember vividly. And then, I mean, if they're going to resell now, they are not going to sell us less than 40 million naira, 35 million naira, 40 million naira. They're, it's their commercial plot. They're not going to sell less than 50 million naira. What am I even talking about? So, 
But say you want to buy direct uh, uh, those, those uh, I mean, gonna do this. So if you call me, I'll tell you what's available, and I will advise you which one to pick, depending on what you have in mind. But like I always say, sometimes you don't even just leave it open. Just buy the plot of land, blood, buy the apartment, and have it there. And the good thing is, these apartments are on off plan. Okay, they're still synergy and they're still building. It's a three years project, so. Plus or minus 2026, 20, you know, is when it's going to be delivered, which is like perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing on your earnings, easy flow, ease, ease of, of payment. Professional estate also have apartments still selling, they are still building. They've not even scratched the floor on their building. So in fact, some of them are already feeling like it's late. But like I said, no matter how late it is, he's still gonna come out at a perfect timing. So now things are picked up, in fact, not gradually. Now things are picked up in Ibadju, like he. So I say to you again, move in and get yourself as many investment as possible. Commercial plots, residential. Ah, oh my God. Honestly, eh, if you're not taking anything away from this video today, I want you to go home with one thing. I want you to take one thing, one thing away. And that is that you should be smart and use this Ibajuleki Ekwe Corridor as the great means of exponentially growing your net worth. And that is, no matter how much your income is right now, you can start with where you are. That's the beautiful thing about these locations. You can start with where you are. I mean... Talking about this, I just remember people who bought into Gracias Morganite. My God, that is epic. <laughs> See where Gracias Morganite is, is located. The road of Gracias Morganite has been done. <laughs> More properties are going to come in what that part. After Gracias Morganite, if you're coming towards Haja, I have a property that is on that road. The commercial plot there. It's coming. It's not unveiled yet. They are preparing. They are already doing the gate They are already doing a lot of work. And when that property hits the market, huh, you people should just get ready. So, I don't think now is the time to say, ah, I'm not investing in the like Ekpe, no, no, no. I've had one month. I don't think so. I think now is the time for you to wear, put your laser focus on Ibajuleki Ekpe Corridor, ladies and gentlemen. So that's it today. I'm going to draw the curtain on today's episode on that note. Remember, now is the time you and I need to put our laser focus on Ibajuleki Ekpe Corridor as a smart serial real estate investor so it's okay if you're yet to be an investor in this market this is also the perfect time for you to join us in this corridor and also do what put your laser focus on and just focus 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 while you're focusing you're putting your money to work for you and then you're checking it it's like a chart just say it keep going it's going it's going going and at the end of the day you will come back to thank me thank you so much everyone who had watched the video to this point i mean really you did watch to this point whoa thumbs up to you thank you i appreciate you myself and my team we appreciate you and please like i said start dialing my number now dial my number call me Mm? it's not just about hearing this enjoying this conversation being part of it and all of that it's also about taking action if you hear all of this and you don't take action you're even worse than somebody that didn't hear it right remember what i said ignorance is not an excuse but it's even worse if you have a knowledge and you don't make good use of that knowledge so once again Start dialing my number. Call me. Please help me share this video with your friends and family. My people in diaspora, share it with your dear fellow diasporans. They are looking for a trusted hand to work with. I mean, you know us in Nigeria Retail Universal. You know me, goodness, Usman. I'm as good as what you get. I mean, as good as my name. And I'm very real. I don't bamboozle you. I don't give you fake news. I don't, you know, tell you what is not in. I'm a real estate consultant. I'm not a marketer. 
So I'm not going to come here and try to market you. I try to, you know, no. I'm here to, you know, give you the advice, the tips that you need to most importantly grow your network. Because the end goal for me is you growing your network. Hey, that's the end goal. And it's sweet, you know, when you move from a certain amount to a certain amount and then you keep moving, you keep growing and then you live wealth for generations of more. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful journey that I would want you to go on with me. So I'll be delighted to read from you or he have to have um, a one on one conversation with you. And let's see which one is the next real estate investment you should buy into. If you have invested in Fairmont Green, what else should you be buying into? Let's have that conversation. If you're here to invest in Fairmont Green, why aren't you investing now? If you're not, if you're not buying into St. Nature Gardens, why not? What's stopping you? Professionals and so many estates I probably have not mentioned. I mean, Gracias is about launching a product in Ibejuleki, a waterfront project. Yes, I just remembered. You guys should get ready. It was supposed to, in fact, the day I recorded this was the day they were supposed to be launched. But due to logistics, they have to postpone it. So get ready. I told you guys about one that is coming on the Lekki Aqua Express. We're facing the road. If you're coming from Aja before you get to Gracias Morgana, before you get to Eleko, is on the road. Hey, that one is also sweet. He has residential commercial. Get ready. So call me. Let's hold a conversation. I will, there are information I can't give on this public space, but one one one, I can give you more details so that you can start getting your money out of your color. I mean, that's a joke, though. Of course, from your bank, start saving towards your initial deposit. There are so many properties we have right now. Pick resort golf course. Yeah, why are you not buying into it? I mean. Those of you who are looking to buy a place where you want to build, pick Lost Records in Shangote Do. What's up? Why are you not buying into it? I mean, you see the road network that they did. You see the road construction. I did a video on it. You guys have watched it. If you are not yet watched it, go and look for that video. Watch it. In fact, I'm going to put it. Just click the link. I'm going to put it after this video. Just wait after this video. You will see it. And then I'll put the link in the description. Please, please, and please. All the properties I've mentioned, I will have the links on this description. Click those links, go and watch them and call me. Let me help you make your reservations in all these estates. If not all, let's start with the one you can start with now. And it will be my joy to embark on this beautiful journey with you. Like I said, real estate investment is our journey. And I'm delighted to be on the journey with some of you already and will be delighted to go on to start a journey with some of you who are watching me right now, whether male or female. Thank you so much for watching the video, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, my name is Goodness Usman. Of course, I am your special, beautiful host. And of course, your fab lady realtor for Niger Realty 24-7 and the queen of landlord makers nobody else can help you become a landlord or a landlady or a landowner today in lagos nigeria other than me because i am passionate about you yes you growing your network so i'll be waiting for your call until then ensure that you stay safe and also just the way you are so see you guys when you give me a call and also don't forget the next episode of the show will be aired next week sunday same time 4 p.m same channel and of course same platform on this youtube so finally i said to you guys oh